hello guys welcome to this channel and uh, in this video we are going to discuss about what is mgcp fallback and what is srst so these terms are often confusing to most of the voice engineers as they sound similar because srst is also called as call manager fallback whereas mgcp fallback is different from srst so let's break this thing down in this video uh, so before talking about MGCP fallback, first let us see what is MGCP. So as most of the uh, most of you guys know, MGCP is a uh, client server based protocol which enables a remote gateway to join to a CUCM cluster by using IP so that all the analog ports in the router will be uh, uh, will be uh, directly controlled by the cucm server so for this purpose we will use we will be using mgcp so let us take a scenario where we have two sites site a and site b so both of these sites are connected using mpls uh, uh, or some sort of wan connectivity and here in our site a we have cucm and site b we have the router so where we have the PSTN connectivity here and we have uh, most of the uh, I mean we have few IP phones here and here as well so all these IP phones will be registering to this particular CUCM server over uh, WAN through this WAN link all right and now we have a direct ship uh, we have mgcp uh, call manage, uh, we have mgcp configured in cucm and in this router as well so using this mgcp relationship uh, we can directly control this ps chain connectivity uh, but what in case a scenario where this particular van link goes down so in that particular case we don't have any uh, connectivity uh, we don't have the reachability between this uh, site b to site a so that uh, the uh, mgcp uh, the uh, T1 or E1 link, the PSTN connectivity here will not be accessible. So in that case, what we can do is we can configure MGCP fallback. So when we are uh, configuring MGCP fallback, it means we are telling this particular router that when there is no reachability to the uh, MGCP server, that is CUCM server, then you just put this particular interface in a standalone mode. So standalone mode means H323 so that this particular interface can be uh, accessed from any other router or any other CUCM server so uh, to do that what we can do is in that particular dial peer where we have the serial interfaces configured there we can mention MGCP app so when we mention MGCP app that means uh, this particular T1 or E1 link uh, is configured as a uh, MGCP controlled interface and uh, this router will be continuously monitoring the uh, CUCM uh, for, uh, for, every, uh, for uh, every few uh, seconds uh, whatever the time we mentioned over there uh, so when there is no reachability to the CUCM then immediately it will be in a standalone mode so that the interface can still be accessible uh, for uh, other routers or other CUCM uh, whatever the device other uh, whatever the device available uh, uh, they can use this router as H323 they can use whereas this IP phones and this IP phones uh, uh, st uh, won't have any communication as the registration have uh, the as these all these phones have lost their registration to the uh, CUCM server. So this is what about MGCP fallback and now let us see SRST. So SRST uh, is a solution for what the problem uh, exactly we have. So that is uh, whenever there is a uh, WAN connectivity loss between site A and site B, all the phones in site B have lost their connection to the CUCM server and they are not even having communication among themselves. So this is very pathetic that uh, all the phones of you, uh, all the users have their IP phones in place uh, with power uh, with power on but they are unable to call, call each other who are uh, who are there in the uh, 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 I mean uh, in a other floor or in a same office same building they cannot communicate with each other so in that particular case we can use SRST survival remote site telephony so using this feature what we can do is uh, so uh, in the CUCM and in the CME router we will mention uh, we will configure the SRST functionality once the SRST functionality is enabled all these IP phones which are there at site B will be uh, getting a, a, st a standby or backups CU CUCM server IP address uh, stand, stand, uh, standby or 
backup tftp server ip address and that standby ip address would be the cme's uh, see the cme gateways ip address so whenever there is a wan link failure and this particular router lost its connection to the cucm then it will take the charge and it will become the uh, active tftp server for all the phones within its lan so that all these phones can have uh, uh, directly register to the uh, cme and have communication among them as well so this is a very simple configuration and uh, 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 using very few commands we can achieve this one and in this particular case uh, all the users at site b can have access to the pstn as well as this pstn is directly terminated in the uh site b's router so that's what about mgcp fallback and srst if you have any doubts just let me know if you like this video uh, please thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel thank you